YouTube family, what's good? It's your girl Jazz, and I was coming through to finally make that video that I had promised many times before. I'm, I've actually promised quite a few videos, and I have not done them, but I'm going to try my best over my thanks, um, not Thanksgiving, but Christmas holiday to put together some of those videos in terms of the products that I use. There's a new shampoo that I tried out that I absolutely love, so I'm going to do a product review on that. And talk about my hair. I don't really talk about my hair as much anymore. So this video is dedicated to those individuals who are um, thinking about combining their sister locks into traditional locks. Um, and also the couple of locks that I did combine in the front um, two summers ago. Um, so yeah, first things first, I've been getting questions about the, the whole process of combining your sister locks into dreadlocks. And, you know, I don't want, you know, like I said, this is nothing to take away from sister locks, but I'm just here to provide information for people that want to, you know, make their locks bigger. And I've heard that different things, you know, in terms of what you can do and what you can't do. Um, they may talk to their consultants and their consultants may, may dissuade them from making them bigger. Um, especially because their consultants are more concerned with keeping their clients than actually advising their clients on what they want. So if you know you want to combine your hair, I would not recommend that you talk to a sister law concert consultant because sometimes they may not have your best interests in mind when they're trying to advise you on your options. They may be trying to keep you, you know, keep your locks a certain way so that they can, you know, continue to make, you know, money off of you. I mean, I, I'm just going to make it, you know, as blunt as possible. Nothing, you know, knocking them, you know, they had to work hard for their certification and everything like that. But sometimes when some people decide that sister locks are not for them, they feel kind of cornered or they don't really have the, re they don't really have resources to people that can advise them the right way in terms of moving on. And I think that, if you're talking to a sister lock consultant, they may try to persuade you to keep your locks the same size. They may even, you know, recommend that you interlock a couple of them together. But as you know, sister locks are so tiny. Like, they're as, they can be as tiny as this. <laughs> um, these are my headphones. You know, you see how skinny that is. Can you imagine combining two of these together? They're still going to have a tiny lock. Example. Combine these two together. It's still fairly small. So for those that don't want to deal with micro size locks, you can combine them to make them bigger. Don't listen to people that say, you know, you can't. You can. You can do anything you want to do to your hair. You okay? So um, like I said, the way I combined mine was that I interlocked maybe four or five of them together by, you know, taking a couple and interlocking the roots together and then I proceeded to turn two strand twist them all together. And when I um decided to combine my whole head, it was fairly still into the locking process, not early but midway. Like I think by about month five or six, that's when I decided to, you know, make my whole head bigger by um my, all my locks bigger. I said whole head. All my locks bigger by two strands twisting them together so they were able to fuse nicely. Now later on in the process, a year after I combined my locks, I noticed the locks in the front of my head were still fairly small, uh, much smaller than the ones in the back and that was because the lady, the lady that put my locks in made the ones in the front smaller than the ones in the back so I had to use more hair but I still, you know, after they locked, they were still substantially smaller and I didn't like that. So I mentioned a couple of locks that my mom and I went through, we sewed together. So I'm going to pull out, this is the, okay, this, since this is right here in front of me, here's an up close view. You can still see the thread. This is the end of it right here. You can see this was three locks that were joined together. You see that? See how small my locks used to be? So as you can see up and down the lock. And for the most part, they fuse pretty good. Like, I can't really see the twist pattern really until you look at the end. Like, you see the end here. You can see more of the twist pattern because it's, you know, you have your thread there. But towards the top, I think this is where the thread ends. 
all of this is new locked hair. So all of this is one. And this is where the thread began, where we combined the rest. So all of this is combined. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing, right? And they all look uniform. Let me see if I can find another one. Here's another one. See, that was quick. <laughs> I just pull it right off. Okay, first let me rearrange that. Okay. Same thing. At the ends here, there's two. So these were, these are, this is an example of how my locks looked after I initially combined the sister locks and they fused into locks. Because like I said, when I combined the ones in the front again with the thread, they were already fully locked. So here's an example of how small they were still after they were fully locked. I was not pleased with them being that small. So this is sewed together as well. Can't find the thread, but it's in there. I don't even know what color the thread is. Maybe y'all can tell me. Y'all probably can see a lot better than me. But as you can see, it's very consistent pretty much, except for like right here where you can see where they have been twisted together. So even though they've been twisted together, they've fused really good. And yeah. So what else? Let's see. I have a lot of little, here's another one, see? <laughs> I combined a total of maybe 20 locks in the front. So here's again, the ends where they were before. And like I said, what we did was we two strand twisted them together and then we sewed it together to make them stay because they were already locked. So my mom and I were concerned that they would not stay together. Uh, I'm trying to find another one. Yeah, here's another one. So, this is where the two ends were. So as you can see, about a year later, my locks in the front have done a very good job, very good job of fusing. They look great. And like I said, do what you want with your hair. You can two strand twist them together. If you need to, you know, make them larger, yeah, that's the best option is to maybe twist them together. Or you can interlock the roots if you don't mind having like the two headed dragons. Like I have them by default. Like I try my best to sew them all the way down, but you know, after a couple of washes, they kind of unraveled. I mean, so you're going to expect that, but for the most part, they're, they're sealed right here. So you're not going to be able to split them up. So they're pretty much good. Um, but yeah, that's the update on the front of my head. And I'm kind of glad that my hair is growing out really fast because like I said, you can tell like the thread for most of my locks start from right about there and on down. So it gives me an opportunity to track the progress of my head and I get to see like where the new locks have formed, like as far as fusing, like all of this is new lock hair versus the old locks that were twisted together. Isn't that something? So, yeah, people that have sister locks, hit me up if you have any questions um, in terms of making them larger. If you're not concerned with parting, like I wasn't concerned with parting neat parts. I mean, but even if your sister locks were installed properly, you can still maintain those parts if you combine your hair, you know, in certain ways. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Hope y'all have a great holiday. Probably make one more video before the holiday, but if not... Y'all have a Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to y'all soon. All right.